you'd expect that there, with an average warming, you'd see a shift toward warmer conditions, you'd see a shift toward more record high maximum temperatures and fewer record low minimum temperatures. But what we noticed was in the last 10 or 20 years, there's been this ratio of about two to one. So there's been a, a, a roughly about for every two record high maximum temperatures, been, there's only been one record low minimum temperature set on average over the US. We looked at a model simulation going off into the future. And in this model simulation, we had a scenario uh, where we uh, were increasing uh, carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases going off into the 21st century. And we just started keeping track in the model for all the different uh, grid points in the model across the US, what this ratio uh, would be. And as the climate continued to warm, this ratio continued to grow. So in other words, you kept having more and more record high maximum temperatures, fewer and fewer record low minimum temperatures. So by the mid 21st century, this ratio, which is now about two to one, was about 20 to one. By the end of the century, with this continued warming and this continued change in the distribution of uh, records, the ratio is about 50 to one. And so you can see that as, you, as the average climate continues to warm, you keep getting more and more increases of record high uh, daily maximum temperatures and fewer and fewer uh, record uh, daily low minimum temperatures being set. M one of the messages of this study is that um, you still get cold days. Even in, at, at the end of the 21st century in the model simulation when the climate's warmed up by three or four degrees centigrade on average across the US, um, you're, still get, you're still setting record low minimum temperatures on a few days every year. Um, that's because you have you know, great day-to-day -day variability, you get storms and weather uh, patterns come through and you get this kind of um, natural, naturally occurring variability, uh, but superimposed on that of course then is this kind of longer term trend uh, that's being driven by the increase of greenhouse gases. So people always get very alarmed if there's a cold snap in the winter and they say, well, what's happened to global warming? We're freezing out here. And you say, well, that's just the weather. You know,